So the other day I was online and there was a nice person named Taylor that decided they were going to quit doing spray paint art because they can't. They said they can't do it. And I, I'm inclined to disagree. I think anybody can do this. It's like a really simple art form. Uh, you just need a couple cans of spray paint. And uh, I've got uh, some red, blue, yellow here, primary colors, secondary colors. I got some orange, purple, and some green. Uh, got some gloss clear, got some white and some black. And those are all Rust-Oleum 2X colors. They're about $3 a can at Walmart. And I also got this cheap uh, color place paint. I got it in white and black. You can get it at Walmart, 99 cents a can. Uh, get some nice forms. I got just like a plate, spray can lids. I got uh, a couple uh, soda bottle uh, lids from a plastic bottle. Um, for my texturing, I'm just using uh, telephone paper, but you can use any paper you want. And I also have a couple little round stencils I cut out. So Taylor, this tutorial is for you. Uh, I'm going to do this painting here. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, stick around, and uh, I'm actually going to talk you through it. So uh, here we go. something crazy a whole lot of color in there keep it going mix it up and hopefully it doesn't look a whole lot like mine all right now I'm gonna shadow the planets and I'm gonna use this uh, cheap 99 cent uh, color place paint from uh, Walmart you really can't do anything with it I mean it's just like so light and feathery not a whole lot of pigment in there uh, I'm not gonna spray sp straight down on the canvas I'm gonna spray off at an angle um, I actually have a video you can check the link right there talks about more about what I'm doing so far so the white areas are the bright side of the planet the dark areas are gonna be the dark side and I made my focal point right here I'm gonna put a big star right there so I wanted all the uh, bright side of the planets on the star and all the shadow side facing away from the star
hallucinate, you want to spray very, very lightly. Planets are all done, they're all shadowed, I got a really nice background, now I'm going to put a star flare right here in the middle. And to do that, I'm just going to use a straight edge, you can use poster board, anything you want, and this uh, cheap white uh, color place Walmart paint. So what I added around the star is called a lens flare. And basically all I did was just take a round circular piece of paper and spray the paint through it. And uh, sprayed it just along one side. Now, if, I don't know if you've ever seen a, a picture of the sun or a bright light, and it has like that circle as it goes out. It, uh, photographers call it a lens flare. I always add lens flares to my star because I think it adds a little bit to it. Next thing I want to do is I want to use another little round stencil, and I'm going to put in a planet over the top of uh, one of these other in here. I haven't decided where yet. So uh, that's it. That's all you have to do for a space painting. Kind of easy. Um, there's the painting right there, a close up uh, so you guys can see it better. Also, I have a couple videos up here for you guys to uh, watch if you're so inclined. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure you give me that thumbs up. Cheers.